a shell. I really just want to fight, to be honest. So I'm just said it. I've, I've kind of I just see the finish line. So I'm just doing my thing, doing the work to cross the finish line, and then we can really yeah we can go after it, get it, celebrate. But right now, just keep keep doing the damn thing. The last hard week is a, is a big push. And this one's one of the biggest yet. So, yeah, break. I, you just have to. No, I wouldn't even say break you down, but just push you past your limit, past your limit, and then once you get there, pull back. Like, whoa, all right, all right, all right. The last bar definitely feels more like a fight to me. So you'll notice I go and I don't really say much to anyone, and it's just it's not mean. I just business. It's business that day, so. Everything's a little bit more. Like all the punches have a little, a little extra to them. I'm not trying to hurt anyone, but just trying to make sure I have that sharpness, that pizzazz, if you will. Being confident is just the work that I've put in over the years. I just know I've got this in the bag. Just have to show up, and I'm ready to just like literally. Let go of me. I really want to play. I really want to have fun. I really, I don't care how the fight goes. Even if I go out, you know, and, and lose in the first round, I'm not, you know, I want to show off. And I just feel like if I show my, if I show myself, if, like a lot of people in this situation now, they, they feel nervous because oh, what if this happens? What if that happens? But I've accepted everything. Like I could fall flat on my face and eat shit, or I could rise and just move on to the next level. And I've seen all the scenarios play out. But the ones I keep seeing are the ones in my favor. And if it ain't broke, don't try and fix it. I just, I know where I'm at and I know where I need to be. Pretty much, thanks guys for putting your bodies on the line for us, because you know we'll do the same for you whenever it's whenever it's your turn. Um, yeah, so we're just having fun. Can watch you guys eat because we're cutting weight. So enjoy, <laughs> enjoy yourselves. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Thank you, pretty much. Just we like what Eugene said after sparring. Whenever we fight, we talk about you guys. We we, we take you guys in there with us. I know it's a it's an individually played sport, but it's a team sport. So yeah, this is just a little. Thank you for being part of this camp. Uh, and yeah, to many more. This is just another example of like the community that we have as a as a gym though as well, because the brother owns this place. This place arcade. He trains at the gym. So like, it's an example of kickboxing or martial arts, like bringing people from all walks of life together. Oh, there it is. A philosophical thing. <laughs> Just having like a little thank you lunch for everyone, everyone that's helped out in the camp. Um, you know, this eight week process isn't just me training, you know, you need a team to prepare for fights. So um, it's just a little appreciation, something nice to, to kind of have a nice closure and um, a little bit of a wind down before we all head off to Melbourne. Can't wait. UFC 234, Melbourne. Let's get it.